guys, how's it going? Indulge here, back with some more Fire Emblem Heroes. This is Ether Rage Week 78, Day 3. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily videos. Jump into the defense, we'll get to some mock battles, we'll get to today's fight. Maybe talk about the summoning session that's scheduled for tomorrow. All kinds of fun today. We've got a Hector. Lucina. It's okay, it's a Kranya Hector combo with an Altina as a bonus unit with Naga to boot. <laughs> they, they, they they attempt this in a weird way. Maybe this was just a mistake and they couldn't get out, or I mean I don't quite know why they do what they're doing because they they're going into tanking position with no I and mean, that's fine. You would get panicked the way you're at, so they must have just thought they could outspeed this Alwyn with four, eight. And then a rally, 12, 49. Doesn't look like it, so I don't know what they're doing. They made some sort of tactical misjudgment here because they don't see the rally trap. And ironically, Leif doesn't even need to get involved. Look, <laughs> it's just going to Wings of Mercy jump. Maybe they didn't see that. Would Lave have died to Kranya, though? She had full HP, so it's not like the Vantage would have even worked. So, I mean, either Lave or that Wings of Mercy jump Celica, which I've... <laughs> I try, I'm trying out. Seemed to do just fine. Can't quite finish the Altina. But that's why we have a Thrasir with a Dancer, and then she can go move five times in one turn if you attempt it from the right side. If you attempt it from the right side, that leads to death at most of the time. It's very very rare. I see a clear over there. So anyway, thanks for the fight, do. Sorry about that. Uh, let's do some mock battles, guys. We've got Plata Tukis who unlocked their mock battle settings for us. No worries, Platatukas. Let me... We're actually going to fight the big fool as a blind run. I like doing my blind runs last. So give me a second. I'll load up the fight. All right, here we go. We've got Platatukas here willing to fight us. In, looks like, is that tier 19, tier 20? You surprised me, Plat. You've got a pretty good team. And if I recall... I think the only way I could beat this was with Altina. Now, <laughs> I guess I'll try the Altina clear first just to show you how I can clear it. But, I mean, I mean, let's be honest here. It seems like you're just trying to beat Edelgard. Which, I will I will give this the anti-Edelgard seal of approval. Now, you've got several things working against me in that respect. We've got Altina here acting as a tank. She's running an AR def res skill, so she will get, if I don't manage to break some structures, which I can break that structure. If you're going to play with that A skill, I would move that bright shrine there. I don't, that's a very easy thing I would tell you to move. If you're going with, this is general advice for anybody that's using these, these skills, don't make these so snipeable because you're going to ruin the tanking. And you do a good job of hiding them. You hide that healing tower very well very uh, expertly and then these two are probably really hard to get based on the range of these units here. Panic Manor could be sniped but um, yeah I just moved that right trying back there that's really not this open space isn't really providing you much of anything um, but so yeah you got a, a defensive Altina you've got a nuke Lysithia right behind her and then I was like okay I can maybe deal with these two but then you've got a no follow up Astrum so that's pretty disgusting and then to cap it off you've got an armor killer Finna as a dancer and a net to make them go farther so well done this is the most anti Edelgard team I think I've ever seen Granted, it's only been a few days since Edelgard released, but let me show you how I can clear this or tell you about it. So, um, you know, Annette's going to be able to do some things, but actually, no, she's not. They're both getting shut down. So this, this, 
uh, column you have here is very vulnerable to isolation because they don't have a lot of HP. You maybe swap the Astrum. Annette could get loose or cause one of these folks to get loose, but how I'm going to clear this is that your hardy bearing is over there and is not going to be able to hit me turn one. If I shut down the Dancer, I should be good. Now, if I didn't have isolation, I think Astrum, based on the fact he doesn't have a rally, could get me. He could get me, but I'm just going to set it up up here. Careful, careful. Certainly. It will be done. This actually might not work because I'm going to have to do some stuff turn two to clear this. Oh my goodness. Well, that's right. I can't take the Lysithia. Yeah, all right. So there you go. My bad. That's a mistake on me. I forgot that, yeah, the Lysithia is going to blow me away. But I'm going to show you a very interesting way of avoiding this Lysithia. We're going to have to waste a turn to do it. But she's actually vulnerable to being blocked out by this rally. So I'm, I'm, an, I'm, uh... I'm going to say annihilating. I'm not annihilating. <laughs> I'm shutting them down to the point. With utter certainty. Yes. Of course. Certainly. Where I can avoid the dance. This is fun. One on one. 1v1 one one Altina. Let's Careful. do it. Careful. So there's going to be some rallies involved after we blow away this Altina, but see, let's see if he can beat me right now, but she doesn't because Hollywood comes to save the day. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Melee will go first, I believe, even regardless if they have a rally set, even if that assist is not there. So I baited the Lysithia. Now, would I see that or have the balls to do that? Probably not. Probably not. You have my trust. We just got to keep somebody alive, and who's it going to be? Hmm. Probably Annette. Probably Annette if we could swing that. So Finna dies. I love you. We can beat her there, but this is Naga's only play, so let's make that move. Consider it done. Astrum is going to be a problem. Uh, he's kind of a pain in the butt, isn't he? Careful, careful. Certainly. But he can't withstand two attacks. And I don't believe that Annette's going to be strong enough to beat either the Loki or the Aversa. Or if she has a death wish to go for Altina. So. But now she's blocking me. Can I get it? Ugh. Yeah, this is, this is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem. I, there is no way I can work around this because I don't have any Wings of Mercy or anything. So if that's the trap, it's game over. What is your it's not. You and I got it. So and and we cleared it. So let me show you how this works with Edel just if you're interested. Because, <laughs> I mean, I already went over the four units you had to stop me. But for giggles, let's take a look. Okay, I'm back with Edel, so I leveraged the fact that we have a bolt tower here that you can't get me. So I can do a little bit of damage. Understood. I can beat the Altina. I mean, that vantage isn't going to do anything to me on a defense panel with 60 defense. <laughs> Especially when she was built to be a tank. Um, now, could I have actually positioned Iago maybe to get some other third unit to fall? Maybe. Time to go. Heck, if I... Maybe I could have hit and run this. Lysithia's range is going to be 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two here. I could have moved back. I could have a Naga maybe deal with the hit. I suppose this was possible? Be done. Your plan. Time to go. Yes. I guess we could try. Good day. As you wish. I really doubt this Naga who's getting panicked can be able to survive this... Oh yeah, okay. Well, you you you're bringing the cavalry along, so that wasn't going to work. What is your desire? With utter certainty. Good day. Understood. I'm just screwing around at this point. 
Anyway, I, I just basically wanted to show you how I could not beat this with Adel, and this turned into an Ellie Wood fight, so let me load that back up again just to show you. All right, let's try it one more time. If I try to get rid of the Scythia, <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe I can survive a Fena hit. I mean, the only person here that can maybe hurt me is this Fena, but then I saw this 70 Astrum. No follow-up. Like, come on, man. You're not even giving me a chance here. Is there any way I can withdraw? If I had, like, a drawback, maybe I could take this down. But nah, if I had, like, a double drawback. She's gonna get blasted by this dancer. I mean, you got some good anti-Edelgard things here. Finna, you got a null follow-up user. So he just actually... Doesn't kill me, but that's enough for Annette to finish the job, and there you go. So there you go. If that's what you were trying to do, make an anti edelguard you succeeded. So congratulations. All right, let's do one more, and we'll get to today's fight. Next up is the big fool. They want to be fought blind. Let's see what we've got. I see a lot of 8-bit structure or accessories on people's heads. I don't see the Veronica, though. You're not a true fan, guys, if you don't get the Veronica that costs 5000 <laughs> Whatever currency that was. I don't even, The yellow heart currency? I can't keep track of them all. We've got a plus 2 Iago. I'm a little sad that I actually plus 2'd my, plus two'd my Iago. Um, I want to run him on defense, so I have to wait till he comes back or he gets into the Grail Pool to do so. But... Not a bad investment to pull Iago for some grails anyway, so... I'll just have to wait a little bit. Iago's here, double... Hey, I did the same thing. HP attack, HP act, P attack. Pretty good setup. You've got an Ellie Wood. Why do you guys make me fight Ellie Wood teams? <laughs> like, every, I feel like every team I fight is an Ellie Wood lunge team. No offense. I just want to see something more original than an Ellie Wood lunge team. We'll do our best. Let's see what we got. But it's a little, little bit, a bit of a gimmick. We've got a rally, so he can actually go farther. He can go one, two, three, four, way in the back line. Okay, I see that. I see you. Thrasier is here. Basic set. Duma. Harsh command. Wings of mercy. Distant counter. That's a little weird. It's a little weird to me to have distant counter wings of mercy. It's, it's not really synergizing. Because if he's going to Wings of Mercy, he's probably dead. But anyway, it's fine. We've got another Finna. So it's just like, everybody wants to kill Edelgard, I guess. So this is, looks like another anti-Edelgard team. I don't know how she's going to pierce this. You put two traps in my face. I could probably not one-shot the Annette, but I, I could do it with the Bolt Tower. So let's give us a shot with Edel. It doesn't look like this would be an optimal choice here. Especially with Iago, I just do not have the res to deal with red mages on Astra right now. Could we have Altina go over there and collect the ether real quick? So this solution does look like it's going to require us to do a smite. That's not what I wanted to have happen. What just happened? How did that trigger? Hold on, one second. <laughs> okay. Um, what happened there? Why did that occur? Was there a harsh command? I was not in range, was I? I'll have to go look at the tape. I don't know what happened there, but it seemed like it worked out in her favor. I baited the Elliewood. He didn't get a Gale Force off because he beat up a mage. How can I work this out? Altina can get it. Do I want Altina to get it? Thrasir is... What's happening to her? She's got movement up. Okay. If I put an Iago down here, can he take that? Yeah, it looks like it. Can I bait the dancer? Who's got Wings of Mercy? 
You do, but you won't be in range. Interesting. I think I might be able to beat this with Adol. Will you rally Thrasir, though? And will that matter? <laughs> I just don't know what Annette's going to do here. I don't know. <laughs> So she, she could go one, two, three. Hmm. If I put Iago here, Your plan. I think What's that's safe. Plan? I really don't know how to track Annette well at all. She should rally her thrash here, and then she. What did she have miracle on? Oh, that was me. Did she have miracle on? I didn't see the miracle part. Oh, that's not fun. That's, yeah, that's that's not fun at all. I think I had that. Yes. You have my trust. It will be done. Oh, I don't have the smite. Damn. Well, you're dead. So this is a fail. Let me try it again. Let me try some things. I know you weren't just blind, but I was pretty close. Give me a second. Okay, I restored it, and I see what happened. That is a crazy trick that you just pulled. Maybe I should have actually shown it on, on tape. Okay, I, I saw it. So what happens is that Thorsir gets messed up by, by Iago's even even attack, which is Death Rez Panic. Why does it not work on turn one? What do I do on turn one again? Turn one is just inflicts guard. I'm a bit confused. So what happens is that Harsh Command goes, because Harsh Command goes... And then goes, okay, I'll play along. I'll rally too. Rallies her. Oh, it's attack speed. I get it. I get it. Attack speed. So I'm messing with attack speed. And because you're harsh commanding it, this doesn't work? In any event, this harsh command ends up triggering the rally, which ends up triggering the movement. <laughs> okay. I think I actually want to show that again. I mean, I, we already sort of saw it the first time, but let me set it up. I have never seen anything like that. And it's it's clearly it's an Annette, it's an Annette only type of activity that occurred here. So at the end of turn one, what happens? Nothing, because Ellie Wood was not messed up. Why? You can clearly see he's messed up on the defensive end. Harsh commands are going to occur. And then he comes at me. So weird. <laughs> it's so weird. So yeah, so that the weakness of that, which I just totally inadvertently found, was to is have a a bulky range unit in play to deal with the Elliewood so he doesn't get Gale Force off. That's it. With utter certainty. So if I beat you now, what else could I do? I don't want to get... I don't want to deal with the miracle hit. And I don't think Altina's in a position to mess with you. We could just have Annette rally the Finna. Is that good enough? I don't want you to get your stupid miracle off. I'm just going to sit right here. I think Annette should rally the dancer. I hope she doesn't one-shot me. She one-shot me! No! <laughs> no! Man, that's crazy. She is plus attack. And a death blow. Very well done. Even with, even with all that defense, you still one-shot me. Oh, there's something there. I know it, but I, I think I can beat this with a vantage set. Let me try this with Altina. Oh, I hate this. All right, let me load this back up and we'll resume. All right, yeah, as I suspected, this is this is vantageable, and again, maybe it's because I'm I can shut down the net. But let me show you. I can dual tank this. I can dual tank this, engage the Elliewood, engage the Thrasir, and then it's a bit of a gamble because Duma is going to come hit me as well, but I should have enough bulk to survive it. I can go right now. Turn one, t 
tank both these at the same time. Doesn't get a double because all of those goads there. I take the Duma hit, splash damage, you put me in vantage range, Ellie Wood's dead, and that will do it. Get healed up. Duma's got that distant counter, which I guess that's the point. So you did jump, and then if he's in good good condition, I can he can stop me. But is anybody giving buffs defensive wise? Be able to blow away the Annette, and then you, and then you, there. The, the, rain, or the range units move second, so I don't have to worry about... And he's got a harsh command, so I don't have to worry about him coming after me. To make sure Finna hits one of our mages. I should be able to do that. I think she can beat Altina. Nope. She's getting chill sped. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And that's how I can beat it. Yeah. So it is vantageable. I don't know. Again, maybe isolation is helping there a bit. But that's my solution. Big bull. <laughs> that was good. I really like that. I've never seen a trap like that. Again, I want to showcase that one more time. If the game cooperates with me. We've already seen it three times now, but I, I will give it a shout out because it's pretty cool. Double harsh command. It's not even a harsh command plus. Where if I suppose if you are using someone like an Aversa, really messing them up, it causes that to go, and then it causes the chain reaction Annette to occur. I really like that. It's a very unique team. So I was crapping on you just a bit with by using Alleywood, but it's really an Annette showcase to me. It seems like this is all about Annette, so I really like that. So thanks for showcasing that, or thanks for letting me showcase that. All right, guys, if you have any comments for me on mock battles or if you want to be a part of the fun, let me know in the comments of this video section. Leave me your in-game name, what season you want to be fought in, and I will get you scheduled in a part of the program as soon as I can. Uh, summoning session tomorrow. Any other news? I think it's today's the last day of the bonuses we have. So hopefully you took advantage of the five times SP. Everything looks good on Vantage World. Uh, I'm really liking my team choices this week. I got tanks and offense. And Adel, Adel has Adel seemed like did she fight day one? I don't remember. Let's do it. I mean, I'm in like in the 18,000 range. I'm not expecting to fight anybody difficult right now. <laughs> but let's see what we have. We've got double Rhines, Swordbreaker Rhine. I don't normally see this Reinhardt that much. This is a normal Ike. No lunges. This is Thrasir. Micaiah would not... Doesn't have a Wings of Mercy. And Duma in the corner, which is a bit strange. Duma in a corner, at least he's not locked in a corner, but... It's a bad place to put him, I believe, on the corners. Because... I don't know. I, I I don't put things in the corners. I don't know why. I don't recommend that you do. Well, that's not true. I mean, they, they can actually be very useful when people try to hide stuff behind the fortress. Oh, no! Oh no, they didn't set their thingy. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, sorry for being boring, guys, but I think I'm just going to cane this. Micaiah can't get me. He doesn't have Wings of Mercy. These are not units that can stop a cane. So. Yeah, I think we're just going to go Team 4. Iago this up. I should be able to have one of the Nagas reposition me over. Can take that seven. You reposition, you smite, and then corn just comes right there. Hopefully, this will be a fast one today. What is your desire? Let's go. Ah, okay. I still can get out of this. Now, is there any way Ryan's not gonna die? Or this Ryan's not going to die. Now, he's going all attack, but he's going to get a fair bit of defense. If he does slip through, he's going to have to deal with Naga. And <laughs> she's the bonus unit this week. 
and is very nasty looking. So I think I'm safe. I'm confident in this position. Let's do it. Seven. Ike is not going to get danced. Garcia is going to die. And then Reinhardt goes. So that's the only person left. Reinhardt's now dead. Bye, Ryan. And is he going to reposition? Okay, so you draw back. That's perfect. Draw back. You do that little bang, bang thing. And then you go away. Great. Bolt Tower will not affect Duma. Maybe it will, actually. So I can cripple him and get the ether. Micaiah, without a Glacies ready, is going to be quick. We'll make quick work of her. I just don't want Ike to not die and they get danced and hit me in the back somehow. So as far as he could go is one, two, here. I need someone to escort Naga to this side. So maybe Iago will do it. Your services are now done, Iago. I think I can take that, Micaiah. What is your desire? Good day. I don't really want to get corn out of the way just yet. So I'm just going to sit here. Again, hopefully we can cripple that Duma. Micaiah should try to hit me. She did. She did more damage than Ike would have. She just got so excited about it. Now we're going to have some pain. You're crippled. I can go get that. Say bye-bye, Ike. And Iago's got that one real quick. Smite up there. Boom. Get that. Oh. Oh, no. What have I done? Oh, no. <laughs> this was all going so well, and I think he's going to kill me. Because I was so arrogant that he got his HP back. Oh, no. What can I do to stop this? It will be done. Okay, I still got an out. I still have one out. Woo. That's the only thing I can do is to do that. Is this my... Oh, beautiful. Sets up great. Divine Fang. Oh, wow. I was really scared there. I thought he was he was going to kill my cane. I mean, I, you're not going to mess with the bold fighter. And it was pretty quick work. All right. So a quick one today, but hopefully you enjoyed the mock battles. Normally, this is what I expect to see in Astro Week. I don't know why. My, my Light Week last week was really difficult. I felt like it was really difficult. Hey, we got a Roy. Why did we get a Roy? I don't know. Uh, but now we've jumped to 6,000. Just have that 30 defense loss. Pretty good week. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with all the bonus units. I'm really excited about Iago. We have not really had a chance to showcase Renea, but she's here. Naga has got ridiculous stats. And I guess I should run a Celica team, but don't need to. Don't need to. And then next week, ooh, Altina's here. All right, guys, that's all I got. Stay tuned for the summoning session for the new Fallen banner. I'm excited about it. I really am. It sounds like... Um, Three of those four units I'm ex really uh, excited to use. So, Oh, also stay tuned. Oh, I was going to do a montage today, guys. I was going to do a montage of upgrading Flame Emperor. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I, I, let's, let's do it. So in preparation for getting a new fourth unit... To be in my arena team, let's just summon a bunch of flame emperors. One. Two. God, can you feel like I've been I've been saving grails for uh I mean I don't I, I've only spent grails like one time, and that was for Aversa. I don't know how exciting this is for you guys, but I think it's like a little bit of relaxation to see somebody else spend all their grails. <laughs> I don't know. Hell, half of you have probably turned off the video by now. That's okay. How many did I need? So, she was at eight, I think. 
We've already summoned six, seven, Let's do it, guys. Let's merge it. Let's merge it up. Gonna see a montage. Montage. Flame. Okay. Here's my plus two flame emperor. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight copies. I did my math right. Let's do it. She is going to get nothing? Wait, what? Oh, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! Yes, there's a critical thing that we need to do is unlock potential. Oh, man. Jeez. Good thing I looked at that, guys. Jeez. <laughs> Some of you are probably screaming at me. Do I really have to do these one by one? Now, you know what? I think a faster way to do this, this is what we're going to do. We're going to, this isn't as montageable as I expected. So, what I can do is simply do a manage barracks, create combat manual. Go back to that. Let's see if we can just find her with FL. Is that good enough? FL is good enough. So, I can boom, 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 create combat manual. It should be eight of them. That's eight of them. Create combat manual. Yes, siree. And then we can ally growth. Inherit, no, not inherit skill. We can do unlock potential. Go back to that. Wish it would cash the fact that you've had flame. So there you go. Now we can do eight of them. Bye-bye, feathers. I finally have a use for you. We're going to increase... I do not normally go this fast. I'm just trying to do this for you guys. Merge allies. Again, let's go look for FL one more time. And now, we don't have to do that one by one. Oh, God. That was almost a disaster. I was like, why am I not getting any merges here? Any, any bonus stats? All right, so she gets a speed? Okay, we're at level three, actually. All right. I'm going to do a quick cut now. It's not quick when it loads. <laughs> I guess I have to buffer the loading. God, I was trying to time it, and it just didn't work. All right, that was the last one. I don't know how well that cut together, but <laughs> I did my best. I'm not an editing master, and I'm not going to go back and fix that. So there you go. Flame Emperor is at plus 10. Where'd she go? Did she, did she go away? I, I just want to see Flame Emperor completely finished. So stay tuned for some arena fights with Flame Emperor. Do, I mean, do I kind of just drop the charade now? Like, yes, it's it's Flame Emperor. She's here. So, I mean, I, I, I've been trying to not... You have, no many, you have no idea how many times I accidentally said Flame Emperor, she, at the end, or in the middle of my videos, and I had to start from scratch because I didn't want to spoil anything. So, <laughs> thanks, IS. Anything, anyway. <laughs> awesome. She's so awesome. 60. Nice mixed bulk. Uh, I fire blessed her. But, I mean, she actually looks like a fun tank in light season for AR, but do I really need another axe tank? Probably, but anyway, we'll end it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope that was a little bit of fun there. See you tomorrow. Bye.